Assalamu alaikum friends welcome to another video of Dr. Zak and Naib where a brother asked question that you say that Islam is the religion of peace so why everyone is against you why there are a lot of people who are against you watch this epic video and listen to the careful answer of Dr. Zak and Naib Dr. Naib thank you very much for your talk the question I have is you profess to be a man of peace you've spoken very eloquently about the idea of peace in Islam peace is written in front of your microphone as you stand there and I agree with you in, in many senses. But my question is why then is your message still seen as so controversial? Why are there figures within the Islamic world, why are there fellow Islamic clerics who see your message and still believe that you are wrong? Why, I mean, you, you've claimed that the Home Secretary has banned you from this country because of a, a sort of media conspiracy. But why is there a broader sense of discontent with your message? The brother asked a very good question, that why if I'm a man of peace and I speak about peace, some people are against me, some Muslims, some non-Muslims, the Home Secretary. Brother, you have to understand that any person who's popular, there are bound to be people who are against him, irrespective of whether the popular person is doing good work or bad work. And the best example I can give you, that today, according to Michael H. Hart, he wrote a book saying, the 100 most influential people in the world history. Though he's a Christian, he put number one, most influential human being as Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Today, do you know, though Muslims consider him to be the most important and the most influential person in history, there are many non-Muslims who think the same. But today, if we analyze the maximum books written against any human being on the face of the earth, it is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The second person he named in his list was Isaac Newton, but because he's not a common man for common human being, he's a scientist, the third person on his list was Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. If we analyze today, the second person in human history who has maximum books written against him, it is Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Based on this argument, do I have to agree that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, they were not good? What we have to realize when a person gets popular, there are bound to be people against him. And according to the Home Department of UK, when I had come, in the year 2009, I was informed by reliable sources that according to the Home Department of UK, the most popular Islamic satellite channel in the world is Peace TV, and the most watched Islamic satellite channel in UK is also Peace TV. Not only is it watched by Muslims, but even watched by non-Muslims. The same report said that the most popular Islamic speaker in the world is Dr. Zakir Naik, and the most popular Islamic speaker in UK is also Dr. Naik. That the reason the Home Department was requesting me that can I reach out to those Muslims which the UK government cannot. But now because of the change of government, what I feel, it was more of a political move rather than a legal move. And as maybe they wanted someone popular so that they could pass the message that we are tough against Muslims. And that is the reason what we feel that we have more faith in the judicial system rather than the political system. I think it was mainly because of popularity and it was mainly a political move rather than a legal move. And inshallah, God willing, we feel that this exclusion order would be reversed by the Court of Appeal, hopefully. Welcome back, friends. I hope you enjoyed the video till the last minute. Yes, this is true that whenever you get famous, you will be trolled from each and every side. Just take the example of Shahid Afridi. She is the hero of Pakistan cricket team. He hit sixes, two sixes against India in 2014. And uh, when he win the match, so at that time he was the hero. So many times he collided, he, uh, you know, win matches for Pakistan with his collision batting. So at that time he was hero, he was so famous. But in recent time when he give a short interview against uh, some of the parliamentarian and he said that uh, they are you know just uh, wasting their time so all the people were again him someone were uh, you know barking like he's uh, he has a degree in uh, uh, out in uh, on zero number and some people say you know different kind of words uh, different kind of things people give him so whenever you get famous you will be trolled from every side take the example of Babar Azam as well he will troll from every side now they take example of Dr. Zakir Naik. We have seen so many videos that most of the people they accept the Islam by listening the logical answer of Dr. Zakir Naik. 
so yes he has some uh, you know every human being have uh, some minorities we can say that mistakes because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the holy quran khuliqal insanu du'ifa that uh, uh, human being is weak so uh, for example uh, if a person he is a right way and if a person is doing very good most of the people will be against him take the example of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam before the uh, giving dawah to the people everyone considered him was like sadiq and i mean everyone was saying that prophet muhammad is the sadiq and i mean but whenever he said that oh people just say la ilaha illallah you will be successful everyone were again even his uncle abu lahab was again him he was throwing stone on him and he said that you just for this thing you uh, you know you just uh, uh, you just um, uh, call us just to say that uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one so our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you know a christian write a book the hundred most um, powerful people and he give the first one is to the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam even the christian think that the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the powerful personality in the world so the people was raising their voices against the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so why uh, why we have to see that uh, why we have to say that uh, people raise voices against us against the dr zakir naik or against the any other personality this is the reality of the whole world that whenever you get famous you will be trolled from each and every side by this trolling uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you a lot of encouragement uh, and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you sabr and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you a rank that even a normal people will not reach to that level so my dear brother and sister if you are trolled by any kind of people or any kind of a person just think that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with you that's why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the holy quran wala yahzunka qawluhum inna al-'izzata lillahi jami'a huwa as-sami'u al-'alim so my dear brother and sister do not worry about the fact people the fact relationship are about those people who are wanted to take down you this is only almighty allah who will take you from the eyes of these devil eyes people and will give you the honor and will give you a rank that even a normal people will consider and just thinking about it i hope you enjoy the video if you like the video subscribe the channel and share it with your friends